Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbback. Now a while ago, probably two or three episodes ago now, I actually mentioned visiting the lower half of the cow field to see if there's any grass to cut. And really, well there isn't. There's already cows grazing it, so it would just seem so weird bringing a mower into here. But it's fine because we have other jobs to do anyway. Just thought I'd mention that because I knew that somebody did actually say that I'd forgotten. And it did, it completely slipped my mind because I was busy doing other stuff. But as it turns out, we don't need it anyway. So today, yes, we do have some fields to redrill. Uh, we don't actually have any harvesting to do, which is amazing because it is September and there's still plenty of fields left to harvest. They're going to be ready, I think, in October because it's sugar beet and corn. Um, so, well, we need to prioritise corn because we need to get it into the dryer, get it sold as soon as possible. I think the price is actually going to be its best very soon. Um, so, yeah. We will uh, get this taken back, we'll put the drill on the back, and we'll get those fields done. Actually, we don't have a drill, do we? We'd have to rent it. Drop that off there, and we'll head back to the store. We do have seed, in fact it's <laughs> evenly distributed around the yard, so that's going to have to be picked up, and we'll get it put into the drill once we have it. Once again we're going to be using the, uh, the horse. I think it's this one here. Not too expensive. I think it only does seed, so we don't have fertilizer. Um, of course, we do have slow. Oh, did I? Oh, wait, I didn't do the muck spreading, did I? Crikey. In that case, we'll do both. Yeah, fill number one needs manure. So we'll spread that with manure first, and then we can do this, but it won't cost us any more. I don't think. If we're not using the drill, it won't charge us, and it won't, you know, add to the hourly. the. Uh, rental so uh, well actually we, we could do with putting the quad track as ridiculous as it sounds on the muck spreader so I might just do that muck spreader is still here in fact I think the telehandler is still here as well so we are gonna have to do a bit of transportation work it might be worth putting the telehandler on the trailer but then yeah, once you've gone backwards and forwards with it it's probably not worth it Good. I think we're putting in wheat, winter wheat, once we're ready. For now though, let's grab the muck spreader. Actually, the muck spreader already has some manure in it. Probably not enough, but I, I'm fairly sure it's got at least like 30%, if my memory serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't. Yeah, maybe. Forty-four percent. Well, it'd be nice if it was enough, but it probably isn't. Having said that, it's a decent working width. Okay, off we go. Nice, very nice. Now it's consuming it fairly quickly. So we'll get this done and I will see you at the manure pile. But as I said, we're gonna to have to get the money too as well. Okay, here we are. So, I probably shouldn't have said that so enthusiastically. We're only loading poo. Anyway, yes, we'll get a full load. It's my new circus act. Yeah, we'll get a full load, um, and we will get that field finished. I'm hoping a full load is going to be enough, though. Should be now. You'd have thought. I probably should have also parked a bit closer, but there we go. Just the way I am. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, and the manure is really heavy. That's why you shouldn't really do it even slightly boomed out. It's going to be quite a few loads, so sit back and relax and watch the manure get loaded. is going to go quite a long way here. Just down and up again. Brilliant. So once this is done, yeah, it's just going to be a case of drilling. Um, I, I suppose we are going to have to move into October though. So good to use our own manure. Of course, it will need to be fertilised again, uh, which will have to be granular, but yeah, the first application is natural and free. Well, not technically. <laughs> we have spent quite a lot of money on this muck spreader and tractor, but you get the idea. The fertiliser is free. Just yeah, the <laughs> spreading it itself is not. Was there another field? I, I don't know. For some reason, I felt like there was another one. Ah... Of course, we've got rid of number nine. No, there is no more. That's amazing. Well, there will be very soon. When we start to do the corn, that is going to be a big job. But let's just get this drilling done and out of the way. We'll be keeping the drill on higher overnight. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, whiz over this field. Try not to hit the slurry spreader. There we go. Slalom through here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, not too good at the slaloming, but anyway. Not too good at the navigating either. Yeah, it's just wheat, so we'll just fly over this. It's going to be so fast. I was thinking about changing the um, Vintage Survival Series. It seems to have sort of got stuck in a rut. Man, we can't really get out of it. We'll gradually keep increasing the amount of land we have, but it's never going to be exciting. I would say so. Uh, maybe it is time we stop that series and got another one out. The problem is this game is just uh, we, we need a new one. We, this one has been out for so long now. Even with the DLCs, we need a new one. Hopefully this year, we'll have to see. And there we have it. Field finished. The wheat is in. So yeah, let's just switch that off there. We will increase the rate of time. Uh, not too fast. 
And there we go, it's germinated. So it's actually ready for uh, fertilizing, but we're not going to do that today because the priority is going to have to be down here. I'm sure that fin number 38 is going to be ready. Wow. Well, I am surprised. That corn, why is it so late? I didn't put it in that late, did I? <laughs> okay. Well, fur number eight is ready, that's sugar beet. I really wasn't expecting to do sugar beet today, and we don't really have the money for the beet harvester, so <laughs> that's not gone terribly well. Um, right. Things never go to plan. In that case, we will fertilize. But I'm not too sure what to do. I, well, I guess we're gonna have to just move on to November. Yeah, we'll have to. But if we can get it fertilized, then uh, that'll be that field finished with. Because it must still need the second application. Yeah. Hopefully we have enough. Oh, I'm going to always hit that. Crikey. Terrible driving. Are we set to full width? No, we're not. Okay. Although we don't really need to be for this area. But still, there we go. Uh, not too sure if this field is why the right width for just going up and then down. It's probably going to be annoying. We will see. But it still beats putting manure on because well you wouldn't do that for a start when it's growing like this and also I wouldn't be able to see where I'm going I can't see where I'm going anyway but yeah doing it this way is much much easier because we're covering so much ground okay there we go turn there the neighbours are getting a bit uh, yeah looks like we should be able to cover it quite comfortably good Finished. Splendid. Right, okay. So the short lived job is done. We shall now increase the rate of time once again. This is really not what I was planning on, but there we go. Oh, not too fast. Uh, we have minus £9,000. Maybe I shouldn't have repaid so much of the loan. Whoopsie. Because we do need the corn header. Um, <laughs> I, I suppose we could sell the canola if it's the right price. Oh, I didn't know I had so many oats. Oh, wow. It is the right price. Okay, then. These jobs just keep popping out of nowhere. My schedule is changing all the time. Uh, should we use the fence or should we use the quad track? I think probably use the fence. Smashing. Uh, I don't think we're going to get them all into one trailer, so it's going to be two loads. Unfortunately, that's a shame, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> 36,000 litres, and where are we going? I think that's the place down here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Off we go. It's a shame, it has only left a very small amount in the silo. But that's just typical. <laughs> that's just that's what always happens. I can't get over how bright that strobe is. But I suppose it wants to be seen. Quite a big trailer to navigate. <laughs> yeah, hitting everything. Um, here we go then. The f well, this is going to be the most impressive payment by far. The roof is a slight concern, unless there's no collision. The bank account, on the other hand, looks fantastic. Oh yeah, there's no collision. Good. Otherwise, we'd be uh, in orbit now. 
So that has temporarily solved our money worries. Uh, we'll go and get the other stuff. 78,500, lovely. So good. Should be able to hit 100,000. Okay, we're not, <laughs> but still. <laughs> very, very good, very good. So, um, what we will do then is we'll go and get that corn header for the class, and we will hopefully make a start. But we'll definitely do the first small field today. We'll get that into the dryer. So, we've got something processing. We've already got all the propane, so nothing else to do setting up wise. We'll take this straight to the field so we can just unload directly into it. Right, okay, uh, let's put this here. We'll keep it on the road. Uh, actually, we probably don't need that header again, so that header can go. Uh, we probably will need the um, header trailer. It might be worth resetting that. And we arrive. So, let's have a look here. Uh, we want to go into the combine header category, which I'm always losing, corn headers. And uh, do we have one which is designed for this combine? I really don't know. No, not that one. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know if we do at all, actually. Right. Um, well, we're going to have to try this one, I suppose. Hopefully it fits, or maybe we could have gone bigger, I don't know. Well, there's not a massive amount to do, so it should be fine. But yeah, we don't need the trailer, so fold up one. Yeah, we'll just have to see how we go, but I can't see this being an issue. I think if anything, it's going to be too small. We're also going to be dropping the straw. So, well, technically we could actually do pellets, amazingly. Corn straw, pe corn stalk pellets. Um, it just depends if I want to. I, uh, obviously we could just sell the straw as it is. And there we go. Right, okay. So, dried corn, that's what we're looking for. This is classed as wet corn. Once we've got the, uh, the dryer activated, that's going to just change everything. I think it pretty much adds, if you get it at the right time, about a thousand pounds for every thousand litres, which obviously is quite significant. Because, um, yeah, I think it's about a thousand pounds normally, and it's probably like two thousand pounds when it's dry. It might actually be two and a half thousand. So, it's definitely, definitely worth it. I completely overbought the propane, so we, we have an endless supply. A lifetime supply and it's actually dropping quite a few stalks it's not bad also that was over 10% just going up so we should get over a full combine when we finish the field I'll turn the beacons off they're not needed
It has yielded well. It was worth doing all the fertilizing and slurry spreading and stuff. Uh, so yeah, lots and lots to process in the dryer. Although that dryer works very quickly. It doesn't take long to dry it. I really don't know what the current price is for dried corn, but we might be able to sell it straight away after it's been dried. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's somewhere, I'll have to find it in a second probably whiz straight past it. Yeah, I whiz straight past it. <laughs> um, so yes, it'll be the fast food restaurant that we sell it to, I do believe. Uh, it's currently 1300 and we can get 2300. So it's actually ages away. Well, actually no, I say ages, it's two months away. Just look at where we are now to where it's gonna to get to in two months. A huge increase. So the timing couldn't have been better. Absolutely fantastic. We'll leave the combine here until next time. We have the big field to do just over there. And it's even bigger now because we did expand it. We bought another field named, uh, basically just joined the two together. Uh, but we have already two, no sorry, 12,550 liters of corn to dry. We'll get that going. I don't know if I used this trailer last time, did I? It's going to be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I, I don't think I used it, no. <laughs> That's not good. Maybe if I pull right forwards... Uh, can we still get into the trigger without... Should be able to. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Well, I think we'll get there. It's just a bit slow. Not ideal, but yes, we've done it. And I've hit a tree. Or, no, sorry, I've hit the... I don't know. I, yes, I've hit something. What have I run over? Oh no, it's the trailer. It's the tail swing. Oh, get over here. Right, well, we might have to think of a solution to that next time. Or we could just do it in stages like I just did. But anyway, let's get that activated. There we go. So, yeah, tons and tons of propane. Uh, even more, I think, somewhere. Yes, at the tank at the uh, fuel station. And lots of corn. So, leave it to it. We will do the other fuel next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.